All right, welcome back everybody to our final week of Striper Migration Reports for the Spring Migration of 2023. So if you're watching this, I want to wish you a very happy summer. We hope you have a great 4th of July weekend, and I hope you've enjoyed the spring migration because at this point in the season, striped bass are pretty much everywhere. Up inside the Chesapeake Bay, there's still good fishing for striped bass from the high teen to low 30 inch range around the Conowingo Dam Pool on the Susquehanna River. There's still some decent bass fishing in the Susquehanna Flats. Meanwhile, in the middle and lower bay, anglers are having better success by live lining spot, trolling around the shipping channels, and casting topwater plugs along the eastern shores early in the morning, which has also yielded a bycatch of some nice speckled trout. There are very few bass cruising the surf down in Maryland and Virginia area, but as we move up the coast to places like Delaware, southern New Jersey, and northern New Jersey, bass are cruising right along the beach lip, eating everything from clams, bucktail jigs, swim shads, small metals, and of course, sand fleas. If there was ever a tactic to try this summer, it's pitching sand fleas off the beach lip and seeing if you can pick up a striped bass from a mere 10 yards away. And while anglers are still enjoying good fishing off the beach in New Jersey, the trend continues to western and eastern Long Island with big bass still in the surf. Although now that we're heading into the early stages of summer, that water is going to heat up real quick and there's going to be a lot more bluefish and even some sharks present in the surf. The west end of Long Island is still fishing well right around the Hudson. There are plenty of bass up in New York Harbor where three weighing live eels or live bunker is one of the best ways to target those bass that are sitting down deep in those fast moving currents. Meanwhile, the Long Island Sound remains a hotbed of action for striped bass with bunker, peanut bunker, sand eels, and the further east we go, some squid still fueling the bite for bass up to 40 plus pounds. Water temperatures across the coast generally skyrocketed over the past week, but bass are still on the move. There's a large biomass of stripers pushing around the east end of Long Island, from Montauk to the rips of the North Fork, and a lot of those bass are going to begin to hunker down in those rips, as well as the bouldery shores of Connecticut and other nearby areas such as Block Island. In points north around Cape Cod, the migration might go on for a little bit longer. Over the next couple weeks, bass are going to continue pushing through the Cape Cod Canal. There's been no shortage of bait around between mackerel, pogies, aka bunker, and plenty of sand eels from Rhode Island all the way around Cape Cod Bay up to the Outer Cape beaches. The fishing remains hot and steady around Boston where there's an abundance of mackerel and anglers are still enjoying a nice flutter spoon bite when those bass aren't on top. There are tons of 30 to 40 pound fish between Boston and the shores of New Hampshire, but it seems like Maine has gotten the biggest push of trophy class fish over the past two weeks. Surf casters are doing extremely well throwing top water in the surf, Meanwhile, fly guides and light tackle anglers are still targeting those river mouths where young of year herring have been exiting the rivers and heading back out into the ocean to start a whole new life cycle. All in all, it's been a fantastic spring migration for striped bass. And even though things might have kicked off a little bit earlier than we expected, the action really hasn't slowed down across most of the coast. However, now that we're seeing water temperatures start to climb, you can expect over the next two weeks that stripers are going to be settling down into their summer patterns in places with plentiful forage, deeper and cooler environments with plenty of moving water where the food can come to them, allowing them to minimize their energy expenditure for the times when they need it most. It's really hard to believe that the spring migration has come and gone like that. It's been a great migration. I've really enjoyed giving these reports to all of you, and thank you so much for following along. And just remember, it's not too late to sign up for Striper Cup. Even though striper fishing might take a little bit of a dive over the next couple months, there's still plenty of striped bass to be had. Sign up for Striper Cup and submit your photos for chances to win weekly prizes. And join us on September 23rd in Falmouth Marine Park for Striper Fest, where we'll be giving away a Tidewater CC210 Adventure completely outfitted with Yamaha outboards and Simrad electronics. All you gotta do for that is sign up for Striper Cup and attend Striper Fest. You don't even have to catch a striper, but where's the fun in that? Hope you all have a safe and happy rest of your summer. And thanks again for watching our Striper Migration Reports from On the Water.